Smoke from grass fires is a familiar part of a Kansas spring. Fire is an important tool in removing unwanted residue from grazing lands. It helps control woody vegetation and is especially important in removing young cedars that can choke productive land. Fire provides great benefits with little cost. For this reason, it's an important part of managing wildlife and parks public lands. More than 60% of Kansas public lands may use controlled burning each year to improve habitat, increase nesting success, and provide better hunting. Dave Jenkins, assistant manager at Mineland Wildlife Area, helps burn about 2,000 acres annually. He explained the reasons for this spring ritual on a recent burn. This is approximately 40 acres. There's a couple of strip mine lakes located on this area. Um, mostly native grass with some cool seasons mixed in with the native grass. And our goal is to uh, burn the native grass and reduce some of the woody vegetation here. We're trying to uh, enhance the warm season grasses and the floor production and uh, also reduce some of the, uh, the cool season grasses um, such as fescue. Management burns are carefully planned to promote safety and efficiency. The burns are often conducted according to a written script with careful attention to predicted weather. The internet is a valuable tool in making last minute assessments of burning conditions. Firefighting equipment and spray tanks are ready before burning begins. Then the crew, armed with radios and four-wheelers, coordinates their efforts to accomplish a clean burn on the selected area. Fires are conducted in two stages. First, using existing roads or plowed fire breaks, a backfire is set. This fire burns low and slow, creeping against the wind and providing a wider fire break for the main burn which follows. The backfire removes all fuel and starves out the larger burn. Once the backfire is safely accomplished, the head fire is lighted. This fire, set on the upwind side of the burn unit, runs with the wind and can be quite spectacular. Extreme heat helps kill unwanted woody shrubs and trees and can erase 40 acres of dead grass residue in just a short time. Spring regrowth often begins within days. Free of residue, grasses and forbs receive full sunlight and room to grow. Ultimately, this makes better food and nesting cover for wildlife like quail. Lush native grasses result from this inexpensive practice making fire, shall we say, the hottest management tool around. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.